I hope you're having a great day today. So this is my first update, my check-in for Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo, which is a collab with Andrea or Shooter Stargleam here on YouTube. I'm not sure if this is going up on Friday or Saturday. I do know that Andrea's video is going up on Saturday. So when her video goes up, um, I will put that in the down bar, but please go check out her channel. She's awesome. And so we're going to just get into this. I will I'll give you a little bit of a forewarning. Um, I'm focusing more on the 7 by Spring because, of course, it ends first. So I haven't been focusing as much on my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo stuff, but I have used uh, the lip products quite a bit. Ah, spoiler alert. Okay. So the first thing is the Freeman Facial Clay Avocado and Oatmeal Mask. Um, I did finish the foil packet, but um, I've only used this once. There's not a mask in 7 by Spring, so there's no reason why I haven't been using this. I just was lazy. We'll be honest here, I'm lazy a lot. It is Geek Chic Battle Dress, which I am wearing on my lids today. Um, I've only worn this a couple of times. Um, if you look at the palette for my Pan That palette, if you mix this color and this color, it kind of looks like Battle Dress. So a lot of times that is actually the combo that I'm using. I've used it a couple of times, but it's honestly, there's not enough to show. Like seriously, it might have moved like that much, like that much. But it is my update, so that's what I've got. Um, one of a kind. This is my Breezia shadow. I have only used this one time. For the lip products, I have been using them pretty much every single day um, since I filmed the video. So here is the Plumptini, um, and that's right there. Um, I want to say it was up here, so I have used up some, but I have used it every single day over top of Fresh Sugar Honey, and this was, uh, let me pull that where you can see, but yeah, that I have used about that much, so that's a good amount. Just for comparison purposes, this is Sugar Passion, and it is, I think I've used it maybe, you know, three times or four. So that gives you a good visualization of how much of Sugar Honey that I've used up. I don't think that there will be a problem with getting this done and the lip gloss. I think the lip gloss will be done probably before the next update. Um, but this should be done by May the 5th. So I'm pretty excited about that. I've been in this crazy cold weather. Um, I'm in Kentucky, which a lot of you already know. And we haven't had any kind of weather that's been this bad maybe in my entire lifetime. Last time we got something like 12 to 18 inches of snow depending on where you are. Um, I was at my mom's when all this happened. She asked me to spend the night with her last Friday, seven days ago, and I was there and then she said, well, you know, I live 30 feet from her. So I ran home and um, I didn't have any of my stuff, you know, so I ran home and I took a shower and I fed the cat and grabbed a couple of things food-wise because she asked me to come back. She says, you know, this is my Valentine's present. If you'll stay with me Valentine's night, she said, um, then we'll call that my birthday present because her birthday is at the end of February. So I went over there and then it snowed. And what had happened was on Saturday morning, I came over again like I always do. Or was it Saturday? I stayed Friday night and went Saturday, and I was going to go back later on that afternoon, and it started snowing, and it all went to hell in a handbasket, just bluntly. And I couldn't get out. Her landlord didn't shovel the sidewalk. Um, they did come out while the snow was coming down in buckets with snow blowers, and they blew the snow, which did no good. And, uh, yeah, so when I came out to go home... I sank almost knee deep in snow and they couldn't understand why I couldn't walk home. Well, because I wasn't prepared for this and I didn't have anything resembling hiking boots, 
Um, I, you know, I had <laughs> dug around in mom's stuff and found a big oversized coat and three shirts and my scarf and I had wrapped it around my head and double hoods and all kinds of things. Um, but I was stuck at mom's for like three days. I finally, a couple of days ago, um, after people with hiking boots and such had trudged around, I walked in their steps, like in their footprints. Um, there was a couple of times when I had to make my own footprints and I thought I was going to fall and kill myself. But I made it home. I've been stuck in here ever since. I have not been to work since last Friday, um, the 13th. Um, I have not been to work. Um, so I've been here stuck. A friend of mine came in. She went to Kroger. She had gotten out and she said it was really, really bad, but she has a nice blazery type heavy vehicle. And she is from Pennsylvania, so she kind of knows how to drive in this. And I'm still saving up for a car, so I'm at the mercy of whoever it is that is my ride for work or whatever. And uh, that guy is snowed in, so he can't even get out because he's got a car, not, not something that's good in this kind of weather. So even if he could have gotten up here, or even if I could have gotten out to him, he couldn't get out of his driveway to even get, you know, 30 minutes down the road to come get me and then, you know, 20 minutes to get to work. So I've been stuck here craving pizza with everything in me without stuff to make pizza and I wouldn't call the pizza people. I would feel so terrible if somebody had a wreck on the way to my house. So I've been sitting here eating um, whatever. I made vegan hot dogs and chili one day. I made some noodles and veggies uh, with some Greek yogurt and you know garlic and stuff and I've been you know it's not like I don't have food. But anyways, my friend, she trudged in here and she barely could get to me um, and brought me Zevia soda so that uh, I would have something something yummy. So she brought me my very favorite uh, ginger root beer and cream soda. And I know this is so not what that started off to be, but it's my life update. Let's call it that. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that and my little ramble. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Let me know how you're doing if you're doing any of these challenges down below. Don't forget to check out Andrew's video.